Hey there, Mavs Dad here with another watch review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Seiko Solar Chronograph Divers 200 meter diving watch. This is model number SSC015. This is the red version with the red accents on the crown and on the sweeping second hand and the sweeping minute subdial. Uh, there are two other versions. Uh, the other versions have yellow on the crown, the sweeping second hands, and the minute subdial. Uh, but that one actually has a neoprene band. And then the third version also has a stainless steel band with blue accents on the crown and the sweeping second hands and the subdial. But that also has blue from the 12 o'clock marking to the 15 minute marking. So from here to here is basically a blue area. Um, I personally like this one better. I just like the black and the red. I just thought, thought it looked really good. Um, again, getting this from eBay, I was a little bit concerned it might be a knockoff. But it was absolutely legit. I mean, it came with the, uh, the owner's manual. You know how the Seiko owner's manuals always are written in about 15 different languages. The warranty card and, of course, the Seiko box. So it's absolutely legit. It came with all the correct plastic to protect the bracelet uh, on the bracelet. And it also came with the blue circular sticker to protect the case back. And it had all the tags and everything. So it's a legitimate Seiko. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely very happy. And I, did, I, I wasn't really worried about it, but I was a little bit concerned. But if you ever own Seiko, you can tell the difference between the fake, you know, and the and the authentic. And this is definitely a, the real deal. So anyway, so I'm very happy with the watch. Very happy with with the uh, with eBay and in this company, Ultimate Watches. I'll definitely be buying more from them. So now let's go ahead and get to the watch review. Again, this is a solar chronograph, and a lot of people get chronograph and chronometer confused. A uh, chronometer normally applies to a Swiss watch, which means it's been tested. And it passes certain tests at certain depths and certain positions of the watch. Uh, and it's guaranteed to be accurate within, I think it's plus or minus five seconds every day, I believe. Um, but most of those, those chronometers are basically your Omegas, you know, your Rolexes, your tags. And they really don't apply to, um, you know, quartz watches, first of all, because they're mechanical movements, they're automatics. They're not quartz or not solar, so it's a different technology. But anyway, whenever you see a chronometer, that's normally a Swiss watch. Now you can have a certified chronograph chronometer, which basically means it's a certified chronometer with the chronograph functions like the Seiko has. And basically a chronograph is just a fancy way to say that your watch has a stopwatch in it, where you have a sweeping second hand and a subdial. Now this one has three different dials, or what they call complications. Anytime a watch tells you anything but the time, it's called a complication. Like if you have a watch that tells you the day of the week, or the month, or the year, or 24 hours, or GMT, which means it can tell time in two different time zones, or you know lunar phases, or, or tides, or um, any of those functions, those are all called complications. Anyway, this one has three. It has a 24-hour subdial at the 3 o'clock position. Which basically means if you want to, you know, tell military time, all you have to do is add 12 to whatever the current time is. So now it's almost 9 o'clock. So that would be basically uh, 2,100 hours uh, in military time. Of course, military folks can, you know, automatically convert regular time, civilian time, to military time. But this subdial just basically gives you that that option. So you can see it's it's almost, you know, 2,100 hours or or 9 o'clock. Um, the subdial at the six o'clock position is the minute hand for the chronograph function. So basically, after this sweeping hand sweeps by once, makes one one revolution, that little hand down there will click over to one. And the third subdial at the nine o'clock position that is actually the second hand, the second hand for the watch. So this is the actual hand that goes around and around during normal watch function, um, not the actual minute hand right here. The second hand, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the actual dial that turns where you can see it clicking over. That's your actual second hand. So anyway, that kind of explains what a chronograph and chronometer is. Um, more features of the watch. It has a hard lex crystal, which most Seikos do. Again, it's a solar charged uh, watch. It's a, a diver's 200 meter, which is basically uh, 200 meters is 660 feet. It does have a date window. And this is one of only two gripes that I have about the watch. The date window is very small. Um, I'm used to my monster, my black monster, having a big date window where I can very legibly see what day of uh, the week it is and what um, what day 
it is, the actual numerical day. This one's a little bit small. Uh, not a big deal, but, you know, something, you know, I wish they could have made it a little bit bigger. Um, there's plenty of Lumabrite. That's the paint that Seiko uses for the indices. And if you look at these indices, you can see, like, when they have on the new Black Monster, there's a chrome bezel around each hour marking, like the 12, the 1, 2, 3. You can see, a you can see it shining here. Um, and also, all of those are raised. Those are raised on a second sub-dial um, over top of the base dial where it's, where it's printed Seiko Solar Chronograph Divers Tenermere. It's raised a little bit. It just adds a, a nice depth to the watch that I really like. Um, the minute hands and the hour hand are really nice, you know, very bright, got plenty of Luma Bright on them. And the bezel is very nice. I think it's a 120 click bezel. It's unidirectional, which means it only turns one way, which is very nice. And the watch is very heavy and very solid feeling. Um, the only other thing about the watch that I wasn't expecting, it's not a big deal, is that the watch is very tall. It's very thick compared to most Seiko automatics. Um, this watch right here is probably almost twice as tall as the Seiko Monster I have. And I'm, I know that's to accommodate the, um, the solar charging cell in there and the battery and also the chronograph function of the watch. It's not a big deal, but it sets a little bit larger, it sets a little bit taller on the wrist than normally. Are you really going to notice it? Not really. I only notice it because I'm a watch guy. Uh, but, you know, as you can tell, there is quite a drop off from the case, the top of the case, to the band right here. So that wasn't what I was expecting. But again, it's not a big deal. It's not a deal killer by any means. It's just, it's a big watch. So if, you know, if, if you're a, a smaller frame guy or a medium sized frame guy, this might be a little bit too big on you. I'll go ahead and put it on my wrist here in a little bit because I know I've gotten some feedback that uh, people want to see the actual wrist shot. So I'll go ahead and do that. Um, but the case is really nice. Uh, it's very thick, very heavy, very well made. Each of the pushers is a screw down pusher and that helps aid in waterproof, waterproofing and keeping any dust out. So you have the pusher at the uh, two o'clock and the four o'clock positions. Both of those are screw down pushers as is the uh, the main crown with the red accent. All of those are screw down, uh, which is really nice. And again, the case, you know, it's very nicely finished. It has a, a kind of a contrasting matte finish and polished finish on the bracelet and the case. Uh, so it's really nice. Like I said, plenty of Luma Bright on the watch. And if you turn it over, uh, you'll see the familiar Tsunami logo, Seiko Tsunami logo. And of course it gives you, you know, Solar Divers 200 and it has the serial number of the watch. And uh, as with most Seiko Divers watches, it also comes with a Divers extension. And I'll try to get this here. Uh, basically, this little section right here where my thumb is, it folds out and it gives you about an extra half an inch. So if you were actually to wear this to go diving, uh, it gives you about an extra half an inch to fit the watch over a dive suit, over a wetsuit. So that's a nice function. And most Seiko Divers watches, they have a um, stainless steel bracelet come with this. So that's, that's really nice. Um, the watch itself, I mean, I've only had it literally for a few hours, uh, but I'm really, really impressed with the quality of it. I mean, it's just, it feels like you're wearing a $5,000, you know, Omega or, or, or Rolex or Tag or any number of those other really nice Swiss, um, chronometers. Um, really nice. Uh, they say you can charge it about an hour's charge in direct sunlight. will keep it, will you know, it'll be good to go for about six months. <coughs> Excuse me. When it does start to lose charge, that minute, I'm sorry, that um, second hand, instead of indicating the time every second, it'll jump to every two seconds. So that way you know you need to go ahead and start charging the watch. And again, you know, an hour in direct sunlight, it's good to go. You don't want to keep it on like the dash of your car or any place where it can get really hot. But just an hour of good direct sunlight, it's good to go. And then also charges in regular office, you know, fluorescent light too. It just takes a little bit longer. But in normal everyday wear, you're never really going to have to worry about charging the watch. It's going to charge itself. So I wouldn't really worry too much about that. Um, if you see down here, again, uh, I'm trying to get it in focus. But you'll see that it's a caliber V175. That's the quartz movement made in Japan. Um, and then you'll see it over here too. Um, I mean, these watches are just, they're bulletproof. And they're, they're really nice. And this being Seiko's, I believe, first foray into a solar diver's watch. They've done a really, really good job. Very, very happy. Uh, very impressed with what they've done here. 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you a wrist shot to give you an idea of how big it is on the wrist. And again, this is a big watch. Um, I mean, not as big as some of those Nixons or some of those Invicta pieces of crap, but it's a big watch. So if you have a smaller wrist, you might want to consider something a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down and put it on the wrist and let you take a look at that. Hold on a second. All right, here you go. This gives you an idea of what it looks like on the wrist. Again, I'm, I'm a big guy. I'm six foot three, and I do have big wrists. So, I mean, this watch fits perfectly for me. It fit perfectly for me out of the box. Now, Seikos do normally take a little bit of wear in time. It's currently at the fourth pin all the way extended, and these watches will get a little loose over time, so I'll probably have to tighten it up just a tad, which is normal and to be expected with these divers' watches. I do the exact same thing with my Seiko uh, Black Monster, so... Anyway, they're great watches. Pick one up. I cannot recommend it highly enough. I'm actually going to probably think about getting maybe a, um, a Citizen Ecozilla or something like, like that next. But I love these watches. Really, they're the best value for the money out there. I cannot recommend Seiko Divers watches, almost any of them, highly enough. I mean, they're, they're great watches. So if you like this video, please go ahead and click on like. And if you like my other videos, please subscribe. I'll put all the links for the different versions on uh, Amazon and eBay below the description so you'll uh, get an idea of how much they cost. And uh, again, I, I cannot re recommend the watch highly enough. If anybody has any comments or, or uh, suggestions, please feel, feel free to post a, a comment on there. And I'll have some more stuff coming up soon. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.